the uh, third paper uh, is titled Fairness Aware Loan Recommendation for Microfinance Services. Um. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Eric Lee, and this is our paper, Fairness Aware Loan Recommender System. And I, I am from National Taiwan University, and we work with the Academia Sinica uh, in Taiwan and the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And this is my email. If you have any questions, you can email this email. And uh, let me introduce why is microfinance first. Microfinance is a system that microfi microfinance is a system that uh, borrows small loan to small credit people, and it it will very beneficial to the poor people because the poor people it is like to be an employee or low income. They cannot get a loan in the bank, and the microfinance system gives them a chance to borrow the money they need it. And uh, uh, usually, microfinance will use a, a website as a medium. And uh, in our work, we will make our recommendation system in Kiva, which is a microfinance website. And uh, as the borrowers in the website like Kiva. Uh, be more and more. In fact, there are 3,000 borrowers in a week in Kiva. And it is impossible for a lender to, uh, to look at all of the borrowers and all of the loans. So we think a recommendation system is needed. And uh, we also see an interesting fact. We, we think the rate of the page will affect the, uh, the behavior of the lender a lot. Uh, uh, the, this page is the first page in Kiva, and as you can see, the borrowers get almost funded, almost fully funded, and they are very likely to get the loans they need. Uh, and, but, but in the last page, uh, those people cannot get even uh, one, one, even, uh, even any money uh, through the website. And we think it is not unfair to these people because they, are, they, they, are, they cannot get any money and they are in the bottom, bottom page of the website. So they are unlikely to be fully funded. And in Kiva, if you are not fully funded, you can get any money. You cannot get any money. So uh, our, our goal is to make an accurate recommendation. But uh, accurate re recommendation uh, we all tend to recommend popular uh, loans. So we, we are not just only focus on the accurate recommendation. We also want to let the recommendation be fair, which is means let the, uh, the recommend, recommendation time of each loan to be similar. And uh, it, it is uh, the problem model of, of, of our problem. And uh, in the traditional recommendation system, uh, they will use, use the, uh, the rating in the past, the user to the, the rating of user to the items in the past to predict the ratings in the future. And they can form a rating metric to solve, to predict what, is, what value will be the question mark. And in our problem, we let the users to be the lenders and let the loan to be the items and we can formulate the same metrics. And if any lenders have lending action to a loan, the volume will be one, or it, or it will be question mark. That, that is what we need to predict. And uh, uh, as you can see, there are two differences of our problem to a traditional recommendation problem. The first is we only have uh, a, a volume, so we only have one class of rating. And the second part is we want to make a fairness-aware recommendation system. And it is the uh, outline of our work. Uh, the first part, we will use a, a very popular algorithm called metric factorization as our foundation framework. And to solve the problem that there is only one class, we will use uh, 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 an already proposed a method called Bayesian personal ranking to build it in the metric factorization and let it become, we call it BPRMF, to solve the 1K collaborative filtering problem. And to let 
our uh, our recommendation be fair. We we do some tricks and actually we change the weight of each of them in the BPIMF to let the recommendation system be better the way. And let me introduce what is major factorization first. And the major factorization is uh, very popular in recommendation system. And the idea is really simple. <coughs> for each lender, we assume for each lender and the loans, we assume there are some latent features. And we use the inner product of each lenders and loans and to be the prediction. And we just minimize the uh, square errors of the prediction to the actual answers. And we can get an optimization function like this. And uh, if we minimize this, if we minimize this, we get a recommendation uh, system. And uh, but in our work, we only have one in here. So if we minimize the square error, only prediction will be one. So it is not what we want. So, uh, uh, so we, so we try to rank the prediction instead of minimize the square errors. And as you can see, uh, if the, a lender have lending action to a loan, the preference of the lender should be bigger than the the lender haven't donate uh, haven't lending to the loan. So we maximize the likelihood of uh, the one bigger than the question mark, and we can get, if we make maximize the probability, uh, we can get this optimization function. And uh, uh, we will not go through a uh, formal proof here, but uh, we will give a very intuitive way to see the optimization function. <laughs> and. Uh, if we want to let the one rank higher than the question mark, we will want to let the yuiz, the difference of the one and the, the question mark be bigger. And in our equation, if the yuiz be bigger, the this, this term will close to zero. Uh, if they are smaller, the, the this term will uh, approach to infinity. So if we minimize this optimization function, we can get the recommendation that we want. And, and, uh, and we, we try to apply Bayesian Perdon ranking to our measure factorization framework, and this is really simple. We can, uh, we can change the prediction to the prediction of the measure factorization, which is the inner product of the user U and the long I and long Z. And we, we change the regularization term to the, uh, to the parameters of the measure factorization. And we can minimize it use dark casting gradient descent. And the algorithm will like that. We, we will do a UIJ in the triplets. And uh, we, we will update uh, the, each element in the matrix. And uh, to be more clearly to see the BPRMF in fact, in each of these, we will pick a lambda u, and the lambda u is in here. And we will draw a long, let they have, the lambda u has donated, and draw a long let they have, let has not donated. And try to let the prediction of the, 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 the to the smile face and the, the set face to, to let it be bigger and to it be smaller, so we can, Rank the uh, rank the pre prediction well in the training set, and it is the idea. But if the BPRF doesn't uh, doesn't aware the fairness because uh, most of the popular loans will be in here. They have been donated by a lot of users, uh, so they will be popular. So if we do this, we will make a very unfair recommendation system. Uh, so, uh, as we can see, the fairness and uh, the, uh, the accuracy may be a little contradiction. Uh, it is just like uh, we, we, I want to eat a lot of things, but I don't want to get fat. But to solve this pro problem, we can eat more healthy food and less junk food. And uh, this is our idea of the fairness aware BPRMF. We assume that we know the popularity of each sample because uh, the, 
the 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 trick that is samples in the in the in the training set, and uh, we can choose uh, to give how many weight in each of that, and in if the popularity of the I I I is the loans I have donated, that is the no the lender you has not donated, and after an update, we will in, increase the preference of the lender you to the, to the loan I and decrease the preference to the land you to the long Z. So, uh, but the popularity of long I is already popular than long Z. So this update is the junk food of, for our recommendation system because it will harm the fairness because it will increase the popularity of the, of, of the long that is already be very popular. Uh, and uh, if the uh, otherwise, if the the long I the you lender you has donate lended, uh, uh, the popularity of this is smaller than the uh, that has the lender you has not donated. We want to give this update and bigger weight because if we do the update, we will let the difference of the popularity of the loans to be smaller. So this is our idea. But how can we know? the popularity of long I and long Z. And uh, we use sampling to solve this problem. For each of that, we sample unread reference lender to see uh, the unread lender like long Z and long I. And for each of that, we will give the proportion that they like long Z to long I and to give the weight to each of that. And, and our key idea is we sample a red blender to see the popularity. And then our, our algorithm of fairness aware BPI is like that. Uh, if you delete the red part, it is the original BPI map. And uh, uh, in the fairness aware BPI map, we will sample a red blender to see how popular is long I and long Z. If long Z is more popular than long I, we will give it a more weight. Uh, otherwise, we will give it a smaller weight. And uh, it is uh, the, all, the algorithm of uh, our work. And we do some experiment to see whether our work, uh, how our method is work or not. And uh, we split uh, the data according to transaction time to split it as training set, validation set, and testing set according to the transaction time. And we use two evaluation methods. The AUC is very common in recommendation system. But STB is uh, the, the evaluation we propose to evaluate how fair is the recommended recommendation system. And, uh, and it is what the STB means. Uh, for, uh, for any lenders, we will recommend uh, Untap, uh, untap loans to the lenders and to see how many recommendations of each loans ha have been recommended and to calculate the standard deviation of this list. And if the standard deviation is smaller, that means the recommendation system is more fair. And it is our result. The red line is the original BPR and then the blue line is, uh, is uh, our method to uh, the fairness aware BPR and that. And we can see that our methods sacrifice a little accuracy but improved a lot in the fairness part. And, uh, and uh, we also do the experiment of uh, how many reverse lenders we should sample in one of them. And as we can see, uh, if you sample five lenders, it's enough because the performance will almost be the same to the funky lenders. And uh, if we cut the base AAUC and the staff, the interaction, the result will be like that. And uh, the result is the same. Uh, our method is will decrease on the performance of accuracy, but increase the, uh, increase the fairness. And it is our conclusion. We propose a very, very simple method, but very e e effective fairness-aware recommendation system. 
And because the, the simple method only changes the weight of each update in the Bayesian person ranking, it can adapt to any model who use Bayesian person ranking as the error, uh, as the optimization function. And we propose a simple method to evaluate fairness in recommendation, and we can do some further work to make our model be more fair. And uh, thank you for listening.